What's up guys, the All Father here, and today just gonna do a little video farming with Taff, working on um, just fine tuning some Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10 attack strategies, spell compositions, those kind of thing. And today I'm working on the Queen Walk Vaho, and I'll take a look at a couple bases uh, that I attack for three stars and kind of show you uh, what I was looking at and kind of what I'm working on as far as attacking these types of bases. So I'll go ahead and look here. We'll start with the Town Hall 9 attack. And pause it there quickly. And so what we are looking for here is basically eyeballing the Expos is really the only thing I'm concerned with. And then secondarily the Clan Castle. And so Clan Castle is going to kind of determine which side of the base I'm going to attack from and as well as the Expos are going to also determine that. And I'll show you how there in just a second. Um, so first thing what I'm doing when I'm looking at this type of base is I'm basically just drawing a line through the Expos and I'm going to attack on either side of it. What I, what I don't want to do is have those ground targeting Expos hitting my Queen on her Queen Walk um, as a point defense. And so I draw that line and I'm either going to attack opposite that line this way or this way. And that's the goal there. Uh, second thing I'm going to look at, obviously, is the clan castle. Clan castle is on this side of the line, so that gives me my attack angle. I'm going to definitely attack from this side of the base um, because it accomplishes both of those, staying out of the way of the expos and dealing with the clan castle. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the strategy and... Uh, Brought that free spell for the Town Hall 10, but I actually ended up attacking a Town Hall 9, didn't end up using it. So still, it's a Town Hall 9 strategy uh, because don't need that fifth spell. Um, but just started Queen Walk on the bottom, uh, four healers, I believe, and just working her way down that bottom and trying to get her to walk up into the left uh, towards the west. And so using that wizard to kind of help create that funnel. Wizard ends up actually going in and tripping the clan castle, which was not really intended, but that's great. It works out good. I was probably going to end up trying to use a hog to get in there and do that, but the wizard did it for me. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and use that heal, or that rage spell right away, as well as the healers and the poison to go ahead and deal with the enemy clan castle troops, whatever they are, uh, the poison, the healers, the rage, and if necessary, the queen ability. Uh, would obviously deal with that. So now step one is accomplished. We've got her walking the right way. And the next step is, I'm going to go ahead and pause this attack pretty quickly here, is so basically with this attack strategy, I'm trying to divide the base into three. And so obviously the thirds are going to revolve around basically creating that stripe around the expos. And so my goal is that AQ takes out one third and then the Valks are going to go ahead and take out a third of the base. And then the Hogs are going to go ahead and take out a third of the base. And so that's kind of the idea here as far as how we're attacking this. So Queenie goes ahead and takes out one side of the base. The Valks go ahead and clear the core where most of the damage is. And the Hogs kind of snipe the outside defenses. So I'm going to go ahead and... Let that run. So Queen, I know which way she's going now. I can start setting my funnel. I didn't bring a golem or a giant or anything, so I pretty much had to use my BK to set the funnel. And that wasn't terrible, I guess, um, other than he's going to get burned down pretty quick. Um, but he, he does his job. He sets the funnel there. Then I kind of pinch the Valks together to get them to funnel to where I want, which is that corner uh, by the cannon, and then get everything going in the direction I want. Jump spell is going to access the core. And then that Rage spell is obviously for the Valks. So once they're doing their job, I know that they've created kind of the pattern, the stripe that I want. I got the Hogs. They can now come down and take down that other third of the base. Because typically our Giant Bombs and our Double Giant Bombs are not on the outside. Most likely. And so that's the kind of the idea of dropping the Valks or the uh, Queen on one side and the Hogs on the other is that you should be avoiding most of the Giant Bomb threat. Uh, which there does end up being one there. That heal spell was off just a smidge. It was actually a double, um, but they didn't trip them both at the same time, so I got away with it. And uh, not a whole lot of troops left here, obviously. Last hog gets flipped, and Queen goes ahead and takes out the Wiz Tower. Um, but didn't end up using a clan castle. I think I have clan castle wizards or something like that. Um, but just trying to keep it down, uh, keep the troop composition down so that it does truly mirror a Town Hall 9 attack. 
more appropriately other than the fact that obviously I have the level 6 hogs and the level 5 valks. Um, but as you can see, that's the general intent of it, especially when you have those double giant bombs in the core there, uh, is to let the valks trip those, let the hogs safely run around one end, and the queen take out the other side. So that is one version of it. Uh, next we'll go ahead and take a look at the Town Hall 10 version of it, and that will utilize the freeze spell and the clan castle troops. And so same concept here as far as what I'm looking at when I'm attacking the spaces, but instead of expos, um, because there's three, I really can't do that line. So my line is the now the Inferno Towers, and that's what I'm dealing with. So I'm going to attack on one side or the other of the Inferno Towers. Secondarily, I'm looking at the Clan Castle. Clan Castle is on this side, so um, unless I'm wrong, because I haven't actually watched this before posting this, my attack angle should obviously be on this side of the base, on the northeast side of the base somewhere. So we'll go ahead and pull those off and take a look. But that's how I determine the side to attack on. And again, I'm going to attack right basically at the air defense tower. I don't care which way she walks. That's the thing, because I just want her to take out that side of the base. Um, so as long as I start somewhere in the middle and she takes out pretty much most of those defenses, now you can see I'm going to have about four point defenses on her, so I'm going to have to use that rage spell and the ability right away. It's really no getting around it. Usually on a queen walk, you probably try to avoid four point defenses, but again, this is a town hall 10, so you kind of got to deal with what you got to deal with. Um, but now I know which way she's going to walk. She's going to go down. And so my next part of my attack is, again, as I pause that, going to be uh, that middle stripe. And so I know that she has done her job. She is responsible for this third of the base. My Valks and Kill Squad are going to be responsible for this third. And my Hogs will be responsible for this third. Now, the one thing I didn't account for on this attack uh, by sending my Hogs on that side of the base was the enemy Archer Queen. And that was probably a mistake. I probably could have done a BK swap and taken her out, but I don't think I did that. But that would definitely be something to take a look at when you're doing this. Um, so Queenie, we know which way she's going, and so now we need to get the rest of our troops up the middle, but we've got a lot of trash on the outside, so the wizards kind of start cleaning up those buildings. And then a few Valks will be sprinkled in here. And again, same concept as you saw on that last base. is pretty much just going to try to drive them into that corner where you see the BK platform and uh, so here they all come make sure they go where I want before I drop the rest of the Valks in there and uh, wall breakers in the rest of the Valks come in they're gonna go right where we want them jump to the core and uh, the other thing to look at here obviously is their single target infernos which was ideal that was the other thing I looked at this being a farming raid is because it's gonna have to retarget every time and so I'm gonna go ahead and rage it so they take out that first one heal them and pop the freeze on that last inferno tower which unfortunately for some dumb reason doesn't end up going down um but you can see there's high level defenses in there we've got uh, inferno towers some max teslas and those kind of things but again i got the hogs coming in here but the valks actually took care of the enemy archer queen so i didn't have to worry about that but that was possibly something that could have hurt me my clan castle wizards are just going around the outside they're not even really helping so they were really unnecessary but you see that inferno tower still up that's a little worrisome um, Queen is going to go ahead and target it in just a moment here and take it out. And so that ends up working out nicely as the Valks approach. And Queen takes out that Tesla in the corner. All we have left is a couple of single target and a bunch of splash. And those Valks run ahead and trip the giant bombs and save the wizards. So that works out really nicely. And the healers end up latching on to the Valks. And they quickly take out their remaining pocket of defenses. And so... Uh, there you go. That's the strategy. The Queen Walk Vaho, uh, kind of taking and taking a base and separating into thirds and attacking each third of the base strategically with a different portion of your attack. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, it helps you in your uh, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9 farming and war attacks in the future. Again, this is the All Father. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. And thank you for watching.